Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. It's that time of year when we find out which teachers are retiring. And we have a surprise for you in this Friday's edition of the Weekly Update. I'm Kayla Day. And I'm Liana Lucio, and this is NHS TV. All National Technical Honor Society members need to come see Ms. Mercer in room 611 before or after school today to pick up membership materials, including graduation tassels. This year's WOW Assembly will take place on May 21st during 7th and 8th period. If you have achieved the AB Honor Roll at least three times this year, then you are eligible to attend the Assembly. Please visit the tables outside the lunchroom during the lunches that day to receive your ticket to the Assembly. The list of qualifying students will be posted in the Mixmaster. The football team is in need of at least three reliable students who are willing to help them by filming practices during the football season. The students who help out will receive benefits for their efforts, including free t-shirts, tickets to games, and more. If you're interested, go see Coach Poe for more information. Don't forget about the blood drive going on today, and thank you to all those who are donating. It's sad to say that one of our most beloved teachers is going to be leaving us. She has impacted many students and her legacy will live on for many years to come. Here's Ms. Wittenberg discussing her retirement. At the end of the school year, Ms. Wittenberg is retiring and Northwest will lose one of its greatest teachers. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I teach student leadership and teen leadership. Um, and I'm also a student council advisor here at Northwest. Um, I've been doing student council for 26 years. Um, I've been teaching for 28 years. Throughout all of these years, she has acquired many lasting memories. Um, favorite moments, um, whenever we put together a solar car and raced it across the country, um, literally drove it, built it, designed it. Um, when we um, built the Habitat for Humanity House, when we hosted the state convention, um, student council hosting the national convention here. Um, so many wonderful things that um, we've accomplished with student staff and um, the Texan family that we have here. After retirement, Ms. Wittenberg said that she is most excited to turn off the alarm clock and sleep in after Stars games. For NHS TV, this is Brandon Langer. Now here's the special edition of the weekly update. <laughs> What's up Texans, I'm Luke Hall and welcome to this week's edition of the Weekly Update. Devin, Devin isn't here this week and rumor has it he's still sitting in Harkins Theaters in Southlake. After seeing the premiere of The Amazing Spider-Man 2, no one has been able to remove him from the theater. Nah, I'm just kidding. He's been AP testing but my story was better. He'll be back next week. The NCAA basketball tournament known as March Madness has turned into May Madness for me. I still can't get over how horrible my bracket was. From Mercer beating Duke to Dayton making an appearance in the Elite Eight, my bracket was just horrid. If your bracket wasn't already shattered with those big upsets, mine sure was when Oklahoma State lost to Gonzaga in the round of 64. I had Oklahoma State going all the way to the championship in most of my brackets, so there was really no hope. But then again, what was I thinking when I thought a team named the Cowboys could make it past the first round? In Oklahoma, a Girl Scout named Katie Francis broke the record last week for selling the most Girl Scout cookies ever. She sold 18,107 boxes in a seven-week selling period. When asked what her secret to selling so many was, she said, I just asked everyone I meet to buy a box. She also said that there was one man who kept coming back and saying, I want some more of that. But think about it, 18,107 boxes of cookies? I've got to give her props. She's one smart cookie seller. 
On Italy's version of The Voice, a nun came on stage during the blind auditions and sang the Alicia Keys song, No One. After blowing the judges away and getting all four of them to turn around, one of their judges asked, that really seems like your genre. How many other American pop songs do you know? To which she simply responded, none. Well, thanks for joining me this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Be safe and have a great weekend, Texans. It's good to have you back, Luke. I can't wait for next year. From the only news station that's all in, this has been NHS TV.